everybody. So, uh, this is a big moment for me. Uh, this is my 50th vlog. Wow. Just want to take a quick second to say thank you. I've been saying that a lot lately, but I, you know, I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate this. Um, but with that being said, let's get on to the show. Hello. I like. I'm, I'm the first. <laughs> if you haven't known. So being from New York or any other popularly dense cities, um, you're usually used to some kind of a hustle and bustle. Being from New York City, we are big walkers and you do happen to run into some interesting characters from time to time. Unfortunately, these characters sometimes tend to get in your way. And the last thing you want is someone obstructing you from getting from point A to point B. There are three kinds of mother that really tend to piss me off. The sudden stopper. If I'm ever gonna stop on a city block, I usually look left and look right to see if in my peripherals I see there's someone behind me. The sudden stopper could care less. They'll come to a dead halt, look around in a stupor instead of being cautious of their surroundings. Basically a real asshole. Next up, the lane switcher. Whatever. Fact is, most New York City streets aren't packed like they seem like in the movies. Most of them, for the most part, are uh, moderately empty. Now when you happen to be on these empty blocks, uh, there is a chance that you're going to bump into a lane switcher. These people happen to be furthest away from you and walking the opposite direction and for some reason at the last second decide that they want to cut you off even when they're not really aiming to go anywhere. They move right in front of you and expect you to move out of the way like what the f is wrong with you? The last example is made up of a group of people uh, that you will see anywhere. The dreaded line. Oh boy, this, this one pisses me off. This is a group of three or more people that decide that it is uh, intelligent to walk side by side on a semi or fully crowded street. Not only are they wider than Willem Dafoe's smile, they decide to walk really f***ing slow as if time is infinite to them. Can't you walk in groups of two? This ain't the intro to Entourage, bitch. All I'm saying is give people a chance to uh, walk around you. <laughs> well, you know what time it is. I must ask you a question. Are there any kinds of strange walkers that I didn't cover in this video that really tend to get on your nerves? If you do know of any, uh, you can go ahead and leave your common sense in the box below. And on that note, I'll see you next time. I want to take a second to thank uh, Curtis and Calvin for helping me shoot this video. Uh, and their help was very beneficial in shooting this sequence for you uh, wonderful people. Uh, don't forget to check out um, my update video um, telling you what's going on with the channel. Uh, you can also go ahead and uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. Uh, those, those things would help me out as well. Uh, also... I don't know why, I mean, I think you guys should know by now, I mean, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, uh, Snapchat, uh, all ways that you can go ahead and talk to me, have, have some kind of an interaction, um, I would appreciate it, I like when I get to talk to you guys, uh, you know, it's fun, you know, all these links and stuff like that, uh.